Hello, my name is Dr. Mailer and welcome to Fun Science Demos Recommends. Today we'll be taking a look at an interactive, a wonderful interactive called the Earth Viewer. And it's to give you a sense of how old our Earth really is and how do we know that? How does science come to understand that? Before we get started examining the Earth Viewer, we'd like to thank the people at the Howard Hughes Medical Institute Biointeractive for producing this. And we've linked in the description to this interactive so you can try it for yourself. Okay, let's explore the Earth Viewer. So there are three major parts. First, over here, the screen with the Earth, we'd like you to take a look at this timeline over here. This is called the time slider right here. And it's telling you how many years ago from the present we are. Well, you'll notice that we're in the present, zero million years ago. And here, we have about 21% free oxygen in our atmosphere, and we have about 392 parts per million of carbon dioxide. Over on the right corner up here, we notice that the day length is now 24 hours. It might surprise some people that the day length of our planet was not always that. There are some other really interesting options at the bottom. You'll notice it says charts, view, in depth. Well, let's look at charts. When I click on charts, you'll notice that I can look at the temperature of our Earth over time. I can also look at, when I click charts, I can look at the free oxygen, carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, the day length luminosity. If I click on view, we can look at these, and those, these will be timed over here. So first I'm going to click on biological events, and you'll notice these brown triangles come up. I'm also going to click on biological events. So we're going to leave those two up as we explore the Earth Viewer. If you want some in-depth descriptions of the greenhouse effect, or the origin of eukaryotic cells, or the life and chemical cycling, or any of these, you just click on that, for example, a greenhouse effect, and we get further information on it. So it's really quite robust. There's a lot of good information here. Over here on the left-hand side, we have four timelines. We have the warming Earth, which is the shortest timeline. We have Ice Age Earth. We have Paleo Earth. And we have the Ancient Earth. That's where we are right now. And that's the longest timeline. So the best estimates we have is that our Earth is full, almost 4.6 billion years old. That's an incredibly long period of time. But how do we know that? The two main ways that we know how old our Earth is is the study of rocks and the study of fossils. So what we're going to do right now is I'm going to click on the time slider and I'm going to move the time slider back in time. Now you'll notice that lots of things are changing, but I'm bringing it all the way down to the beginning. So you'll notice that I brought the time slider down to 4,500 million years ago. That's when we know the Earth formed. However, I don't want to confuse you, 4,500 million years ago is the same as 4.5 billion years ago. So we're down here at the first event where the Earth forms and the Moon forms. If I click on the Earth forms, which pops out, it'll talk to us about the exact date the scientists have and a description, a little more information. Let's move our time slider up and take a look at the next geologic event. They say, ah, oh, we had liquid water on the planet. We didn't have liquid water in the beginning because the water was in water vapor. The earth was so warm, it was so hot, that liquid water couldn't form. So now we're at 4,360 million years ago. You'll notice we had a lot of carbon dioxide in the air back then and no free oxygen. So let's keep moving the time slider up to the next geologic event, which was the oldest rocks uh, that we found volcanic eruptions on early Earth contained a lot of water vapor. So notice, as we come up, our oldest, the green triangle, is a biological. And the oldest forms of life that we found in the fossil record were from 3,005, I'm sorry, 3,850 million years ago, like 3.8 billion years ago. So let's keep moving up to the next geologic event. And that's the earliest plate tectonics. So the earliest plate tectonics, I'm going to move the Earth around here so we can see that. If we get messed up, we can always reorient our Earth. 
and bring these so we can see where the plates are. Let's move the timeline up to the next geologic event, and it's called the Great Oxygenation. Well, what did that mean? Just click on this. It'll tell you more about it. And we're at 2,420 million years ago. Let's move us. I'll close this. Let's move us up. And now, right here, Snowball Earth. It was very cold. Let's keep us moving up to the next biological. The oldest evidence for eukaryotes. These are cells that have a nucleus. We're at 1,790 million years ago, and they talk about where they have found them. So let's move our slider up. Nuna, chloroplast, evidence for chloroplast was found. And we just move all through these events. So you can get more information on it. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to flick from the ancient time Earth to Paleo Earth. And here, I'm going to move our slider all the way back to the Cambrian explosion. This is a very, very important uh, biological event. And why? Because we had enough oxygen, free oxygen in our atmosphere, for life to get bigger. And if you want to learn more about the Cambrian explosion, just click on that, and they'll tell you. As we move the slider up, now we're, not, we're in hundreds of millions of years ago, not billions of years. So now we move this up to the first land plants about 470 million years ago. First land vertebrates, about 370 million years ago. Pangaea, you've heard probably a lot about Pangaea, was forming about 300 million years ago. Here's Pangaea. And let's move up lots and lots. Notice, our, notice what's happening. Our oxygen is getting increasing in the amount our carbon dioxide is going down, and our day length is getting longer. That's because our Earth was spinning faster in the beginning than it is now. So anyway, this is just a brief overview of the Earth viewer. We're going to have the uh, link to the description where you can see it on your own. You can play with it. You can learn lots of information. Remember, don't forget about the in-depth and the view here. You can change it and look around. Thanks a lot for joining Fun, Sen Fun Science Demos Recommends. I'm Dr. Mailer. To visit the Earth Viewer yourself, just click on the link in our description and where that red arrow is, launch the interactive, a wonderful science education tool for biointeractive from HHMI. Thank you very much from Fun Science Demos Recommends.